And now it's time for our next guest. Nancy Grace is television's most respected legal an analyst who's getting to the bottom of some of the most challenging and multi-layered true crime stories in her new show, Injustice with Nancy Grace. The new series uncovers enthralling true crime stories with ultimate vindication. Take a look. I have been a felony prosecutor in inner city Atlanta for over a decade. I have been a journalist over 20 years. I've handled and covered literally thousands of cases. Of all of those cases, the injustice of some just stick with me. Wrongful accusations. I don't care what they said. Sentences that don't fit the crime. Victims' cries for help ignored. Many cases may have been resolved in courts, but not resolved in my mind. Everyone, please give a warm build brunch welcome to Nancy Gray. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we were just saying that it feels kind of weird to sit next to you. I feel like something either bad has happened. Well, you're not we the love. first person to have said that. To <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I said I feel like I'm guilty, and she said you probably are. Right. Yeah. So, that's something. That's true. Uh -huh. She's definitely know. murdered someone, uh -huh. um, and we should really discuss that after. This. <laughs> For now, I, I can talk just about grab show. those fingerprints on my way out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo! <laughs> I'll take that card, <laughs> <laughs> or maybe that cup. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I, I hope you collect all our DNA. I'd be so honored. Why do you think I haven't already? Uh, oh. oh. Wow. Here's yeah. the backstage, you know. Yeah. yeah. We, we, think sexy. about it, little girl. Stop. When we come back from hiatus, it's just Nancy <laughs> sitting out there like, they've I've all been, been waiting for you. I yeah. saw she, it. The lights are off. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. the light beam. Yep. Bill Brunson. Yeah. It was a They're crime gone. ring. They're gone. I love it. Nancy, <laughs> lock me up. Seriously. This is a fantasy and a hat. I actually can't even ask my question. I want to talk about your show. Can you tease anything? I know e each episode is its own true crime story, right? Well, you know, I hate to follow your exciting discussion about pubic hair, but um, this <laughs> case, the, the show, Injustice with Nancy Grace, and it's about to air on Oxygen. Mm. Now, how many times have you heard about Scott Peterson? So or Tot Mom, Casey Anthony? Right. Or O.J. Simpson? I mean, we know what happened. I'm a crime victim, and after prosecuting and investigating thousands of cases, I know that there are so many cases that nobody's ever heard of, nobody's put a spotlight on, and seemingly mm -hmm. nobody cares about. You know, Lady Justice is blind for a reason. No defendant or victim is more important or less important than the other one. These first eight cases we hand-picked out of thousands of cases, because each one stands for something to do with our justice system. One, a son goes missing. Years pass, the mother never believes what cops tell her. She goes out and stands out in the sun in the street at a busy intersection with a sign around her neck, my son is missing, help me. Now, if you heard that, you wouldn't want to help, and I do. Uh, there are cases nobody's ever heard of. They have not gotten a spotlight, and they deserve it. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. That a lot. Wow. And let me tell you something. I've been a crime victim. My fiance was murdered shortly before our wedding. Um, changed the course of my life. I was studying Shakespearean literature. Wow. Sometimes when I say that, it almost sounds like a joke, but it's not. I dropped out of school. I lost down to about 89 pounds. I didn't know what I was going to do. I went back to school to become a felony prosecutor in inner city Atlanta. And I thought I knew it all, right? Until I had children. Mm -hmm. it took me 20 years before I would let myself really love someone again. And now that I have children, when I think about that mother standing out in that hot street begging for help, I mean, I don't know how you can ignore something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. So what you've clearly, you're an icon, you've had so many different shows. What makes this show so much different and more special than the ones well, in the past? You well, know, you know how much I loved HLN and yeah. recording on the crime that just happened. Sometimes on the way to the set, we'd hear about a missing child. I'm like, oh, we're changing the show. 
Right. They love that back in the control room. But <laughs> this, when I'm doing an oxygen, is more akin to when I would actually prepare a case for mm -hmm. trial. Mm -hmm. When you stand in front of a jury, you darn well better know what you're talking mm -hmm. about. And not only that, a jury can smell a liar or a fake a mile away. You better believe or it's over. You talk to every witness. You recreate the crime scene. You go take your own pictures. You go to the crime lab. You go to the autopsy if you can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know it like the back of your hand. And that's what we're doing with Injustice with Nancy Grace. Wow. I say that, it's funny. It's like Nancy Grace is somebody different. <laughs> but it's Injustice with Nancy Grace. And we leave no stone unturned. We go back to the same. And matter of fact, I was just slogging through a creek bed last week preparing Injustice with Nancy Grace. Wow. Because a little girl, a teen girl, mm -hmm. was murdered at a bridge over a creek, and we were recreating it to try to figure out. That was a botched investigation, by the way, uh, from naming the wrong person in good faith, think, cops thinking they got the right person, it's not, to a botch, to missing evidence, to cold cases, to mysteries. I have one case that we're starting off with where a very dear, close friend of mine I was just with them about 48 hours before. His wife is murdered in the home. Horrible things were done to her body. He told me evidence that I thought was very incriminating. And I was really torn about what to do, a moral dilemma, because this is my friend, my very dear friend. And police had him in the back of a squad car. Now, that is a moral dilemma. What do you do? Oh, yeah. So that's how we're kicking it off. Wow. I've never told that story before. Wow. Wow. How do you feel about social media and how captivated they get with these cases mm. and how everyone mm. sometimes, well, not everyone, but like people who are interested themselves become detectives mm. and start trying to also solve those cases? I think it's awesome. Yeah. Because nothing made me happier or makes me happier now than when I do a story, cover story on my Series XM or on Crime Stories or on CrimeOnline.com and we actually get a tip that might work. And for me, everything's worth it. All the years of investigating, of working the streets, of trying to help crime victims, it's worth it. And you know what, I don't know if that's because by putting a Band-Aid on everybody else mm -hmm. with every case, I'm somehow putting a Band-Aid on myself. Mm. I don't know. I'm not a shrink. I'm just a trial lawyer. <laughs> but it feels good. Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, I've followed you for years. I mean, I watch HL, HLN faithfully, like, all the time. I'm almost Thank like, you. you need to take a break. That, can, just I calm tell down. can I tell you something? Over our table where we sit, uh, and I cook a lot. Okay. I leave, use the crock pot. But... Uh, a lady who is legally blind, who watched the show every night, did a, a needlepoint of the twins, wow. a picture I posted of them at Easter. It's so lifelike, it looks like a picture. Wow. You would not believe the people that care so much about solving crimes. This little old lady, and it's up on our wall right now. People care. I'm so proud that that I get to do this. Absolutely, you're a vessel, honestly. So what's been the reaction when you have helped these people? Like, how do you keep in contact with them? What's the rapport like when you've helped I do these keep people in contact the with them. Line? Okay. I do keep in contact okay. with them. People come up to me at Target, at Walmart, wherever I am out there, and like give me their card. Uh, a lady just came up to me and gave, put a card in my pocket and said, mm -hmm. my brother was hanged about 20 years ago, and they said it's suicide, but it's not. And I'm, I'm working on it. You're invested. I mean, people need help. And it's not like the cops are just sitting around eating a donut. I mean, I know that's funny, but <laughs> that's not true. They're trying. But I remember I came back from court one time, and I'd been on about a two-and-a-half-week trial. And I would never go to my office before court. I'd just go straight there. There was a giant stack of manila folders, each one a new violent crime. They had fallen over like dominoes and gone over the other side of the desk. I went, Wow. Wow. There's just so many to, to work with, and you, you can't work them all. Wow. So you try as hard as you can. Right yeah, and you've interviewed so many people. I'm curious, what goes through your mind when you're interviewing someone that you know is guilty? Like, right now? <laughs> 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 you laughing at all? I think that's a joke. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. I just peed my pants a little bit. I'm, just a little I'm bit. scared. I'm just about just a tiny of my bit. life. <laughs> So um, you know, I, I don't know if this is good or bad, but it's probably... <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh, but 
<laughs> I can't help it now. Every time I walk in a room, I look around and I look at people and I kind of like memorize their faces or I can't help it. I memorize tag numbers. Wow. Like when oh people are God. talking to me, it's mm -hmm. like tick, 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 and I can't, I can't stop. Are you like, I want to shut this off? No. No. <laughs> You're no. Good. You lean no. into it. You're no. Good. Yeah. It's just second nature. Yeah. And sadly, the twins now like to go on stakeouts with mommy. Wow. <laughs> you know. Oh, I love They're that. 11. Oh, my God. And, of course, yeah. guess what just happened? Their first ever sleepaway. Because to me, sleepaway camp means murder and molestation. Of course. Same. So, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, I totally agree. Well, hello. <laughs> I never went. So, guess totally what I had yeah. to do? Yeah. Become a scout volunteer. And I made my husband take a week off. It nearly killed him to and take a week off of work. And you were hiking with him? Yep. And we went. I stayed in a tent. Uh, oh, my God. That is a show. That's I it. mean. Can we film that for oxygen? Yes. <laughs> if you Season two. could see, every yeah. time I took a picture, I'm like that. Because it was just like bad. <laughs> but, yeah. So, they're wonderful. They're 11. Wow. I can't believe it. It feels like they just came. Yeah. But i got to say something about the twins. They're awesome. But it wasn't until I had the twins that I finally realized I had to stop the anger mm -hmm. and stop really the hurt mm -hmm. over my fiance's murder. Because you don't want a mom that's all strung out all the time. You want a mom that's loving yeah. and happy and builds a happy life for them. Because that's what they're going to be, yeah. right? So that is when I really realized that Keith wanted me to find happiness. Mm -hmm. That's what I have to say to crime victims. Don't do what I did. Try to move on with your life and find a purpose. Because I really stayed in it a long time. Wow. I mean, I try a case, and I have to go to the ladies' room in the break, and I just, like, cry. Because it would bring back everything that had happened with Keith. And um, that's no way to bring up children. I want them to be happy and love life. So they really changed my world. Wow. Plus the crock pot. <laughs> Nancy, thank you so much. I don't want to let you leave. Hey. <laughs> You know what? I don't like the way you're looking at me. <laughs> you're trying to get off the topic. The topic is injustice <laughs> with Nancy Grace. <laughs> and I want to know where you people are going to be July 13, a Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern. Why are you looking like you're scared? Because I'm ready. I'm ready, Nancy. <laughs> I thought you were going to invite me with my popcorn, and we are kicking okay. it off right. People. Okay. Yeah. 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 I was going to ask you, is there popcorn? Okay. Oh, yeah, there's popcorn. Okay, then I'm there. Skinny popcorn for me. I just pour the butter on there. A little cheddar? No cheddar? <laughs> me? Okay. What now? No cheddar popcorn? I no? love that. The yeah. white cheddar, the smart popcorn. Okay. Oh. I'm there. I'm there. Can we hang and have a <laughs> snack party? Come on. If you are snacks, I'm so I'm totally there. Okay, I'll bring I'm all, all the about snacks the in snacks. The world. Oh. All about the snacks. <laughs> all right, well we'll we'll make some plans after. after God willing. The show. Woo! Guys, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. And Justice with Nancy Grace premieres Saturday, July 13th at 6, 6 p.m. Eastern. Eastern. You better be